Hello Aries! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Tarot Grand Lux by Ciro Marchetti. Website I have for Ciro is usgamesinc.com, here at the top. Of course, feel free to freeze frame on any of that information if you want it. Support of Oracle Cards, Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. They are illustrated by Jesse Reich. You can see the spelling of Jesse Reich there. And at the bottom, there's a website, hayhouse.com, if you're interested. Okay. What do we have for Aries? There's only one card here I'm wondering about. It could go your way, it might not go your way. Card pushing out of the center. So since it's punching me in the fan, hand, <laughs> or cutting me in the hand here, the Knight of Swords waiting over to the side. Um, I think you could have a really good outcome here, but that's weird. What are we? <laughs> okay. I'm seeing this, the, right off the bat, this is weird. Something is going weird. Judgment is being rendered. And the, the other side has the Ten of Swords with the Victory card. Kind of like, well, they wanted what they got, but what they got did not, didn't... Whatever they were going for, they got it. But I'm also getting like, that's going to be what kind of brings them down. So... Somebody got what they wanted. They got their vi their victory is really is actually their demise. Very interesting. Um, I feel like we're starting backwards. Where this, wherever this is going, they're gonna get what they want, but it's gonna be what takes them down. And I also see you with this. This is why I keep looking at this, and I'm like, is this really going in your favor? And I feel like you're watching this play out, and you're like, hey, they got what they paid for. <laughs> they got what they wanted. Somebody, what is going on here? It's, it, it takes devastation to get success. Um, it's like somebody's getting called out and the truth is coming forward and it's freeing them. And they're gonna get they're gonna get what they really want because of it. It's a very difficult win, but it's a really great win too. It's very interesting. Now when I'm seeing your energy, you're watching this play out at first. And you're not really sure if you're gonna stick around for the ending on this. Kind of like, I'm not even sure if I should. Am I wasting my time? Should I even bother being here? Does this even make sense? There's a very, like, maybe I should let this go and move on. The question is, when I see this card, I find it very interesting. Is this the, the beginning or the end? Because it's kind of like, is it a sunset or a sunrise? And maybe there's a way you can tell in this card that I just don't know. But I look at this and I'm kind of like, is this a sunset or a sunrise? And it's kind of like the beginning or the end. And I feel like this is how I'm looking at this. This is either the start of something great or the end of something that wasn't working anyway. And you're waiting and you're, you're paying attention. You're being very astute with it. Um, I don't think you're communicating, though. I feel like people forget how strategic Aries can be. Very strategic. I don't think you're communicating. No, you're. I, I feel like you're... You're looking for the truth, and you're like, no, 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 I'm going to keep it to myself. I'm working with other people. I'm letting other people tell me. See, this is the thing of the King of Swords. The King the king and the Queen of Swords, actually, have complete control of a conversation, and then complete control about what people know they know. Um, you're very well aware of other people's opinions of you. Certain people think you have the the tact of a buffalo in a china shop, or however that goes, a bull in a china shop, um, and you let them think that, and you're like, well, I, <laughs> you're like, well, I can be very, very careful of things, and I can be very discreet if I want to, but the fact that you don't think I can works to my advantage, and I'll use that to my advantage. Aries is really kind of smart with that. People don't know that Aries is aware about how other people see them. And you'll let them look at you in a certain way. And you're like, all right, sure, 
think that, and I'll let you just show me your whole hand. I'll sh let you show me your total poker hand, and I won't even let you know that I figured it out because of your misconception of me. Think that way of me. Go ahead. Go ahead. I can use the advantage. I have no problem with that. Um, it depends who it is, and it's kind of like, you know, I see it for what it is. I see Aries do this more in a corporate sense. You kind of like, you let people think what they want, and you just use it to your advantage. Um, is that more, I feel like that's an Aries thing. Like, because you can be very strategic, extremely strategic if you need to. And this is why I think I see it mostly in business, kind of like, when you become more objective with the people you're dealing with, kind of like, I have to deal with this one anyway, so let me angle myself in a position of success. Doesn't mean I like dealing with them that way, but I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win. I didn't show up to fail. I didn't show up to fail. So, um, and I want the truth. So whatever this is, you're like, I'm about the truth. Aries is always about the truth. And sometimes... Especially when Aries gets older or more mature, or even if they're not older, if they're just in that more mature energy, they're like, yeah, if I want the truth, I can't let them know what I know. And I know that. So I'm going to hold back, and I'm going to pull it together, and I'm going to let them think I don't know what's going on, and we'll see what they say. We'll see what goes on. Because you get the truth that way. Like, I know, so for example, I know this person did that, I know that person did this, and I know how that played out. But then it's like, these people don't know I know that. And then all of a sudden, people who you think you can trust start giving you this line, hook, line, and sinker story about what, what really happened. And you're thinking to yourself, I was actually there for two of those things. So I know those are clearly wrong. So I'm wondering why they think that's... Do they, do they really believe that's what happened? Are they making up a lie? Is somebody else lying to them and they're buying into that lie? I'm finding out the inner, inner working pieces. Oh, really? That's what happened. Where did you... Like, were you there? Did you see it? No? Oh, well, who told you? Really? That's who told you. Kind of like you're just sorting it out. Now, as it keeps coming apart, like, as this situation keeps coming in, like, somebody is, like, really investing in their own demise. <laughs> really? I think somebody is investing in their own demise. Ironically, it's going to be rough. Something has to, they're, like, they're really putting a lot of work into this. They're investing in their own demise. There's a lot of earth coming in here. Like once they once they dig the hole, they're in the hole. Because what's going on is they're building this whole situation. Ironically, what I'm getting is they're, they're having these short-term thoughts. They're thinking, I'll just handle it now. It'll move on. Nobody will know the difference. We can just pretend it never happened. That seems to be what they're thinking. And if it was going to play out the way that they think it's going to play out, that might have worked out that way. The demise is going to serve them. This is the that's the card we're getting. So, I'm I'm also questioning if it's them or you that's more happy with this outcome because I'm seeing a lot of positive cards pop in, with like the sun and the joy. Like there's something good coming in here for you. I'm just kind of wondering exactly how it's playing out for you because I think you're going to be very happy with the outcome because you're also getting this at your end. So there's a lot of good things here coming for you. You seem to be connecting to like, uh-huh, that's how they should have played out. Uh-huh, yep, yep, okay. I mean, they won. They completely, like, through their own demise, they won. Um, something is going on here. Because there's a lot of Earth energy. Like, they're really, they're really, like, locking themselves in. They're doubling down. They're maybe even tripling down on this, whatever they're doing. Um, put a lot of effort into this. Contributing, like, investing in their own demise. They seem to feel like this is what they need to do. The thing is, yeah, what there's going to be a big change that happens from this. And it's not the change that they originally wanted. It is going to serve them in the long run. I'm also wondering if this is somebody who, the way they're doing things isn't just, it just, they don't really like it, but they, there's something weird about it. Whoever you're looking at, I feel like when this falls apart and completely fails, I feel like you're objective over to the side. Like, no, life will get better for you now. Maybe you'll learn your lesson. Maybe you'll do better. So, all right. So do we want to get into why this is failing? Because I, I don't see you being the one calling it out. But something else comes over from the side. This came out right from the middle of the deck. It, like, poked me in the hand. Like, the reason this is failing is somebody else is blowing them in. Like, it's not you, but somebody else is definitely blowing them in. 
all the truth is getting right out there and they have no control over it. It's not your fault. It has nothing to do with... I don't feel like it has really anything to do with you. It's not bad for you in any sense. Um, and I say that in the sense of like, whatever part you had in this situation, you're at peace with. So it's kind of like, yeah, I knew being a part of this, that might happen. I'm at peace with it. So you might technically have some connection here where there's some fallout, but you you were already at peace with that. Like, yeah, I knew that might happen, and now that it did, all right, I'll own up to it. All right. If there is anything where you have to deal with fallout, you're like, yeah, yeah, I knew that was, yep, yep, I'll clean it up. Yep, my mess. Yep. I was at peace with it. No problem. No problem. Um, justice comes forward. You're happy with it. The fact that it falls apart, you're happy with that too. Um, what exactly is the demise? Like, Can we get a little bit more detail on what the demise is here for the other person? The wheel comes in, which is interesting because it's like somebody blows them in. And then the Five of Cups, they just don't like, this is not how they wanted it to play out. This might be a quicker, like, instead of, like, the long-term, it's kind of like instead of selling your house, your house gets blown up, and then you just get the insurance money. <laughs> not that that, not that we want that, but, like, it's kind of like they wanted to sell the house but and take all their stuff out of it first, but their house got blown up, and they don't get anything. It's all gone. Everything that was in the house is gone. But they got all the money back that so they can start anew. It's almost like that. Um, maybe from your perspective, maybe. It's kind of like, yeah, there were a lot of memories and beautiful things in there, but yeah, you're still alive and you got a whole new house. It's kind of like a tornado came through and wiped the whole thing on. It's all gone. It's a horrible way for this to end. No, But you might look at this like, but nobody physically got hurt. It's just all those memories got wiped away. So, But they got something to replace it with, so they get to start new somewhere else. Um... There is a victory here. There's something with victory. That I, I wanted to, I thought we were kind of done, but there's something else with the victory. It comes in fast. It's what's necessary. Um, they have to let go of what didn't work. They won't be able to claim the victory until they let go of what failed. So be aware of that with this person. They have to accept the demise and kind of like it's done, it's gone. Until they accept that it's done and gone, any attempt to move towards vict victory will fail. So it's kind of like as long as they're trying to re... Like as long as they aren't letting go or accepting it, they have to come to peace with like that's gone. If they try to move forward before they're at peace with that, they're going to repeat the fail. Be aware of that. They could repeat the fail. So they have to totally let that go. Accept the fail. They have to accept the fail. If they don't, they might repeat the fail. There's something about that. Keep that in mind for you, as, however you connect to this, because like if they're going to repeat this and fail again before they succeed, You'll do what you need to do with that, I know. So just heads up on that. Just That's all, just a heads up on that. All right, I think we're there. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below with the same email. Thank you again for watching, and have a great day.